All right, everybody. Omnith Locus of Mana versus Corvold Fey Cursed King. I was about to say Face Cursed King, which, looking at that art, kinda. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's cool. All right, do you have a YouTube channel or anything that I do that I can plug? Ah, no Twitch stream, nope. Etsy store, Instagram, Reddit account. Not yet. Tinder, no. <laughs> Grinder. okay, okay. All right, I'll keep, I'll keep. All right, uh, you know, I think you're dice. Well, yeah, yeah, let's uh, see if he has one in here. I was just assuming you were going to go first. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Alas. Eight. Yep. Okay. It is that way. That'll do it. You good to go? Yes, let's go. Forest. Pass turn. Hey! Forest! I may have a little bit more to do than that. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, Soul Ring. Pass turn. We're all 20 and then put modifiers. Where did that other one run off to? Alright, fine. I'm gonna do 21st. Thank you, I found it. Alright, you good, you good. What you got? What you got, my guy? That's it. Uh, Relic Portal. That works. So, do you have an opinion on Soul Ring's legality in Commander? Um, I understand, like. At six plus your three, it's good. Nine, it was awesome. <laughs> Pass. Um, it does almost automatically gain quite in basically every single deck because there's really no reason not to play it ever. <laughs> so it limits the 99, but at the same time, it like it also activates some things. It's also just a nice card to like make Commander more fun when you play in the first place. So it goes I, uh, both ways. Oh, Wild Growth. It's going to make an extra green. Yep. I. Played, there's only one deck I've ever played that didn't have Soul Ring, and I don't think wanted Soul Ring, and that's because the deck was completely unfair. It was uh, Animar, so you play a lot of creatures, so you don't run, and you don't run colorless mana. If you're playing colorless cards, they're going to be free, you won't be spending mana on them. I think we're going to say pass. That would be nice for us to go Witch's Oven. Pass. Witch's Oven. Sack a creature. Sacrifice a creature. Create a fifth. Okay. 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 I'm gonna read you again to see where this is going. Okay. I make food tokens and you sack stuff, I guess? You don't have to sack your... Sack a creature. You get an extra sack yeah. out of it. Okay. Okay. Alright, Riddle. Are you a monk? Yeah. Oh boy. Let's see. Ukwai's also gone. But Leah's cool too. Oh yeah, Ukwai. Oh, shut up. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Oh yeah. I don't know the deck as well as I would like, but I'm going to say Ulvenwald Hydra, Reach, Power Toughness is 3, it's the number of lands I control, 1, 2, 3, Undo Talk, and then I get to search for a land card, uh, Inches of Battlefield tapped, just a land card. Now, I don't know the deck super duper well, but I think I know what I'm supposed to go for here. I think. Alright. So, so folks, this is one, and that card, yeah, <laughs> it's good. I was about to just do the regular, like, you do crit, just roll like Nine? No, nine. If you do max damage, then they can do max damage. No. Let's see. What else do we have here? Come on. Okay, well, fine. We're getting a dark death. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, big mana deck, I guess. Yep. So now it's a 4 4 with reach and pass. So, draw. 4 4 flyer and a 4 4 with reach. <laughs> what happens with an, when an unstoppable, when an imminently stoppable force meets an imminently movable object? They pass through each other. Yeah. Uh, pass turn. Uh, oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! All right. Uh, there's there's ten counters on here, just so I don't forget. Cause it it might matter if I don't find it this one stage. I'll be legitimately legitimately taking them off. Uh, 
Uh, no draw yet. Hey, there we go. Oh my god. Well, uh, sure. Forest, forest, <laughs> five five. Yep. Let's see. Combat. Yep. Hit you for five. Yep. All right. Five. Uh, main two. Yeah, that's a lot, right? All right. One, two, three, four, five. Gilded Lotus. Mm -hmm. Extra mana rock. Um. Pass turn. Draw. Oh, no. Not like this. Yeah. Uh, end of yeah, turn, like I'm going to remove a counter. Yep. Just because, why not? <laughs> why not? Oh, man. Oh, no. And the immortal words of Knuckles. Oh, no. Alright. Um. I don't know this deck super well. I don't know. Uh, so, I think I'm supposed to cast this. If I'm counting, if I'm tapping that many times, there's probably a problem. Just maybe. Um, I pay, maybe should have paid a little more attention when I was searching through the deck, but I didn't know this was going to be a thing. Let's say, uh, in the immortal words of Shia LaBeouf, wait a minute, oh he's got that, he does have that card in here. No, he definitely has that card in here, okay, never mind. Uh, takes these backs, no. Um, hits you for six? Yep. Alright. Cast my commander? Yep. Five. Imperious perfect. And then pass turn. All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah. pass no. Turn. End of turn. It is one of those. Remove a counter. Off these three, and then pay two into Omnith. Into Omnomnith. Wait, there's a green one. There's a green one here. That, that has to be the, the priority. All right. And the, the two off wild growth. You know. You know how it goes. You know what we're up to. I'm probably more familiar with that deck than you are at this point. I, I certainly <laughs> suspect so. Um, yeah. Is that information we generally refer to? No, not really. Tooth and nail. Five, seven, nine, so I'm entwining. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that there's a crater hoof. I'm trying to think of what else there is in here. Could get to combo with Crater Hoof. I maybe should have waited, just maybe, so I can make tokens. Uh, but, yeah. I hope I'm not wrong. I did see a Crater Hoof in here, I think. Probably you. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. That's not bad. It's Crater Hoof, Behemoth, and Other. Is it? I guess you're in contention now. Hey, well, there's Crater Hoof. One is armed, and what I can do is if I can reroll the attack roll, and I can choose either one to two. Uh, and my second attack is an unarmed strike. And, uh, so I've gotten it narrowed down to it's either going to be Ulamog or Varenklex. Varenklex? Varenklex. Varenklex. Um, so if I do Varenklex here, each of these will tap for an additional green, meaning that you'll get six extra power. Nine, no, just just base, not counting Crater Hoof's ability. We're looking at nine, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, sixteen, eighteen, Crater Hoof, other. And so each of these, you too, but you don't get to attack, so whatever. Each of these gets an extra five, 16, 36, 
I'll just do Verinclex yep. and just. Yep. Yeah. All right. You, would you like to do a game too? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. The more magic, the better, right? Yeah. Let's see if I actually uh, yeah. get to play. Fair today. enough. Fair <laughs> enough. We were playing. But it also keeps up with like commander damage and everything. And we were playing, and, all and if someone wants up, to tap a lot of like excess mana, you just step around. It works. Does it have a storm counter as well? That Wait, no. Man of the Hour. Does it have a poison counter? It does. Oh, yes! It does have a poison counter. So I have to end it. You have to end it. I have to end it. Alright. Oh. First one's free? Yep. Uh, yeah, um... I should probably mulligan this too. If I'm being not idiotic about it. Okay, I'm gonna mulligan, but I, I would like to see what the next card would have been. Oh, it would have worked. <laughs> Two lands, but one of them's Dark Depth, so it doesn't make mana on its own. And then you see land. Oh, he crit. Oh, well. Oh, what can you do? Yeah, I have no. Just zero. <laughs> zero ways to make mana, zero ways to get mana. Nah. Oh, no. When you roll crit, you don't add the three to the end twice. You do. Hey, look. I also saw three there, of the same cards from my last game. <laughs> I was like, oh. That should work. All right. Okay. 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 Our yeah. force of habit. I, just, Are you gonna to put I can't help it. All right. I'll keep. I'll also keep. Cool. Let's go. Round two. Oh, uh, you're up, I assume, right? Good to go. Yep. Tap. Soul ring. Pass. A. Top decks of glory. Awesome. Turn one, birds of paradise, past turn. Oh. <laughs> Not exactly. Yeah, we're Shock in over drum tomb. Everybody roll me perception. Tap two, Zillport Cutthroat. Whenever okay. it or another creature you control dies, each player loses one life and I gain a life. Like you said, you're playing aristocrats. Yep. So you, uh, All right, let's see what we got. Set it in the break, so. I said, like you said, and then I remembered, wait, he didn't. I don't know. Let's see. How about... Oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> oh no. Sure. Let's uh let's play a Finhorn Cutthroat. Uh, Finhorn Elves, I'm seeing Zulaport Cutthroat. I is smart. <laughs> Pass turn. Uh, the bottom of the cavity is an unlocked stone coffer. I'm seeing some cards in my hand and going, wait, this is still legal in Commander? <laughs> Tooth and nail from last game seems green. Two seems pretty good. Arrow, sacrificing Ooh, the yep. forest. Arrow, that work. You can get two lands, or is it two yep. basic lands? It's two basic lands. Okay. Like I told you, she's gonna be the hoarder people. I think this is the first yeah. game I've gotten on camera with the playmat with the new signature. <laughs> Not that it can be, not that anyone on earth can make out who that is. Curses and deities are a real thing. Shout out to okay. Ross Marion. I, no, listen, okay, I actually rated three grades. The first grade I rated, I, I have exactly ring. no room to speak. My signature is all over the place. And the Jessica Greening rated the third one and a mimic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, she got cursed. So your first year of grad school? Yeah. All right. It's a one-year program, so. oh, okay. which is really, really nice. There, it's, it's definitely accelerated. So I'm, like, I uh, did 16 hours, basically, yesterday of straight cramming for biology. I had to learn my anatomy for a test. Uh, so I just, like, sat in one spot for 16 hours straight learning. I heard you say earlier five years, and I thought, well, maybe you just took, like, a bunch of AP classes or something to get through. <laughs> Okay, so one room mm -hmm. had skulls in it, and a... Uh, I didn't know that you could take tests for AP classes that you didn't take. If I had known that, oh, yeah. yeah. I had a roommate back in college who did exactly that, and um, like, an ungodly number of those <laughs> tests and got at least a three on something. So <laughs> you just take yeah. them to try. <laughs> That's it. I mean, he, he's a smart dude. He, he, he skipped a lot of classes that way. <laughs> 
So we'll be heading to the five eight. And, and then E8. Land for turn. On the off chance that you're watching this, Josiah, you're cool. <laughs> Alright. Uh, pass turn. Okay. Wait, where, wait, which one are we doing? Are we doing these pathways? Yeah, you said these pathways. Three stone bed frames stand against the east wall of this room. There's nothing else. Cool. Okay, well then can we go to E6 then? Rook to E4. Oh. E6. As Evangeline would say, tricky Jay. Let's go. Okay, so are those? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Grand Absolutely store. cannot argue with that. A gravel, just so we're all clear. Oh, I know. That's a big rock. Future gravel. Um, E7, is that the fact? Tap all five? Yep. Can I? Nissa World Waker? Yep. Wait, no, can we yeah. Plus your four. Using the second ability, untap up to four forest. <laughs> Tap these again. When I, get my I have a Gyre Sage. So one, two, evolve, add green for each plus one plus one counter on it. So right now it adds no green, but we'll get there. I have a sneaking suspicion that won't last much longer. Faster. Untap. Draw. Unless you're just going to KO me here real quick. That, that could happen too. Um, um, let's see this. <laughs> Something grounds it intact. Um, yep. Uh, two black. Uh, oh. Six. Uh -oh. No, oh. Harvester of Souls. Oh. Death Touch. Soul of the Harvest, but in reverse. Yep. Death Touch, whenever another non-token creature dies, you may draw a card. Aristocrats. <laughs> Faster. Oh boy. Ah, uh, gotta go fast. Time to go fast. I guess if we're going to go quickly. I'm gonna put in the horde value. Oh, let's see. It's for all of us. Like the money goes to the horde. So holy symbol. For the horde. Okay, in this. And back in the hallway, uh, to the west? Yeah. I'm doing it so that we can actually have money yeah. to split whenever we're done. Well, you don't seem like you're going to be doing a whole lot um, this game, you so you might get the cut, bud. I'm sorry, yeah. but you might just get it. <laughs> oh, and you're a 5-5. Five five. I, I, I did not remember, because Soul of the Harvest is a 6-6, six six, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Right, Demon instead of an elemental. Good grief. Um, hmm. I'll take the 20. All right. Yeah, right. 20. She single-handedly with your help. Neat. Not single-handedly. Okay. We're, we're over there. Right. Are y'all going to go into Doing math. Yes, sure. Absolutely. All right. Um, oh, uh, lo siento, senor. <laughs> nothing in Caps or Games. Uh, you okay. see an alcove in the south wall holds the rubble of the shattered statue. Um, we tried no. to. No, don't. Don't do it, Jack. Don't do it. Wirewood Channeler makes X mana of any one color where X is the number of elves in play. Trigger. I want to inspect it. No. Let me inspect it. I'm going to let him inspect the gym. Okay. Don't touch the gym. Great. No, that's a nine. I'm going to inspect the gym. What are we going for now? Um, so, if you can look through this room. And to the south, there's a, there's a broken statue of the Lord. One, two, three. The statue of the Lord with horns greedily looking at this big green gem. Greed is good. There's a holy symbol. You should give me the whole idea. Three. Zuri, renegade leader. So, it's better. That is him. Scoot you over here. Mana, non mana. I guess. And then I will pass turn. Oh, that what you were trying to do? Oh, okay. Draw. I thought he was doing an inside like. Folks, I think I misplayed that. It's certainly tricky when you have these cards in hand. And this time I... Okay, so... Two... Yeah? I want to know if I can grab the thing. Red, black, green. Play my commander. Uh, sacrificing Zillaport, so you lose when I gain one. Oh, it enters and when it attacks, right? Whenever, yep, yeah, enters or attacks. Okay. Blip. No problem. 
You do gain one, you said. Yep. All right, cool. And I draw a card. I'm gonna grab it. That'll work. Uh, and then when another non voting creature dies, I also draw a card, so I don't have to see that. Nice. Could she grab it with her main please, please, please? I'm a little glad to get the cutthroat out of the way now. Okay. I'm not, I'm not in the mood to get comboed by an Antuko husk and a bunch of other stuff. It's a good thing. Wait! Stop. Put the magic, put the amulet on. Or a carrion figure or what have you. Okay. Yeah. Put the amulet on and you touch it. Is she touching it with a ring pencil? No. Touch it with a It's aristocrat. Oh, I apologize. Hey, you're good, dude. There is also a dance a counter. Well, here, let me just get you a bunch. I have a sneaking suspicion we might need them. I think that for Omnith, by about turn seven, what you do is you just take all the dice you have and just plop them on him. How far are we from this thing? I think he's the only one with this thing. Well, I fucking die, so... <laughs> no, you're not dead. You're now. There's a D&D game going on in the background. It's great, folks. That's great. Two for survival for fittest. That's a problem. That's a problem. I'm so glad you're out of mana right now. Swipe for five. Um, block, regen. Yep. All right. No triggers. All right, cool. Was it the main hand that I could it would have still exploded. Okay. So I thought you were a. You wore the amulet and you touched it there. Okay, folks. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Did you that. about that? I did. I thought you had to wear it to no, do you, it. You have to touch okay. the amulet to do this. Do we have them now? This would be cool right now. Do we yeah, have them? No, if you could have gotten the emerald out of there, it would have worked. Okay. Wow. Yeah, no. Our last game, we actually got it out of there, and we went to go get it inspected by someone in the park. No, it doesn't work the way I thought. But okay. then we made him pay us. us oh yeah, we <laughs> made him pay us. That he was like, oh, okay, fine. Because he was I like, oh, what's this? Against the wall. He's like, okay, okay, okay. It's like you broke it, you buy it. I thought it. you had to wear it. My bad. Five, mm -hmm. because that card is messed up sometimes. Thanks, I'm only dead. Eight. All right. Um, oh, excuse me. Five, seven. I'm getting ahead of myself. This would be eight. Uh, let's go. At, yeah, we're done here because we explored every room. Okay. So as you get back to E nine. Um, sorry. Nine. Oh, what do you mean? Um, as you get back to E eight. Nine. We got there. You notice a chest that wasn't there before. Revive me. Let me open. Tooth and nail and twine. Tell me you've seen this hand. before, know, except like, this I time. The last time I did that, it broke what was inside because it's a big horse. It's not the horse. Yeah. Yeah, it's what? not that. Big it's going to be uh, Crater of Behemoth, okay. no, and no, no. The, I'm wait, pretty sure. The, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty yeah. sure the yeah. other yeah. thing is yeah. different yeah. because yeah. I don't. Okay, I'm going to open it with my main chain. Okay, it sticks to your main chain. It's a mimic! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven creatures. One, two, three, four, five of which can attack. Never mind. Crater Hoof and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. So Crater Hoof and other creature. So just walk away from it. And then swing into it. Knock us out of here. Get out of here. We are not doing no Yeah, you don't have to search. Yeah, I don't. We'll just do an Elvish Arch Druid. Just buff. They're strong and they're annoying. Yeah. The other one was Natural Order, which to me is probably probably too strong for commander. That's Oh, you sack a green creature, you get a green creature. Yeah. So you sack a Finhorn Elves, or I was debating the Gyre Sage when it looked like it wasn't going to gain anything, and then, you know, get a Crater Hoof Behemoth, or whatever the heck you feel like. Color restrictions mean you can't just always go for, like, Progenitus or something like that, but Crater Hoof, I hear, wins games. <laughs> So, from time to time. Yeah, and I don't even play with the card, but to me it's still kind of too good. Yeah. Um, that's just me. You are indeed correct. You know this deck better than I do. Uh, and I may not be playing at 100% right now, but that's alright. That's alright. I'm just glad to be able to play. Now, that said, I have a box full of vintage decks. Would you like to pull one out and try it and try one? There's not like particularly, 32. if I'm being honest. Oh, that's okay. Fair enough. You're being honest. All right. All right. Thank you, man. No problem. If you do have a channel or something in the future, let me know. Yep. Let me...
hope you plug it down in the description below, right? All right, see ya.